if a family members think that T460 keyboard's not working correctly. Not sure why. Half of the keys went out. So if I download Lenovo Diagnostics for Windows, this is Windows 10. Run through the first step. Takes just a second. And then it should bring up a key a keypad. So if I type some things in here, like D works, C, but G doesn't work. Nothing happens. In fact, a lot of the keys are missing on the top here also. It's not working as expected. Then it pops up a little soft keyboard. If you come over here, click on some, it'll tell you you click through it exactly which ones are missing. Function key is not working. None of these up here are working. Five and six. Oh, can't operate. All right, well, so we're gonna order a new keyboard. Now, what I've done is I've plugged in an external keyboard, USB keyboard, so I can operate things. So, a couple of parts to replace the keyboard. One, we run the diagnostics to really verify something's messed up. Number two, we're going to go into BIOS and turn off the internal battery. Number three, we're going to take the external battery, the one that comes out the back, off. And then we're going to replace the keyboard. It only takes a few minutes. Now we have to go into BIOS to re turn off the internal battery. So just type in, when you hit the start menu, BIOS. And it'll bring up this advanced startup options. And we'll hit restart now. That's going to reboot the system and give us an opportunity to go into the low-level firmware called BIOS. Troubleshoot your PC. You have to use the external keyboard, hit enter. And usually on the Lenovo's, when it reboots, you get ready to hit enter. It should give you an opportunity to go in right here, hit enter. And then we're going to hit F1. So we'll have to come down here and hit function, F1. <laughs> that key's not working. Okay, go over to config. Power, disable built-in battery. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Enter. Shuts the system off. Now we have that battery off. We're going to take this removable battery off. Slide that open. Slide this side open. The battery will come out. Okay, now there's no power to the system. Turn it around. All right, turned it over. There's these two little rubber holders in there that kind of just press against the back to wedge the keyboard in. We're going to pry those out. My finger looks like it's disintegrating. Wonderful. Yeah, so that's not coming out very easily. I don't know what that goes. Slid away. I think this keeps the keyboard from sliding forward. 
Okay, well this is not coming out easily. I got a little screwdriver and a plastic bar. You can see it's sliding back and forth. I got one piece out over here, the rubber's dry rotted, so I'm not able to pull it out one piece. So I don't know what's underneath here. I said I read don't use metal, but there's no way to get this thing out. It's falling apart. Yeah, I got these out. I don't think I'll be able to buy that, but if I have to put something rubber back in here to hold the keyboard in place, I'm just going to put some pencil eraser in here or some rubber, but that's degraded. Let's go to the other side. So we're supposed to push this back. It looks like there was some soda or something. It's all gummy and sticky underneath here. So I'm trying to find the screws. In the video I saw online, the screws are in different places. And since I'm going to replace all of this, I don't really care if I destroy some of it. But you can see a screw head here. Another one here. Got that. And this is supposed to pop out this old keyboard unit. So I may have to go nuclear. Try to find the screws because this thing is not budging. There's a screw. Okay, nuclear option. I still have to get the bottom part out. Now I have to be real careful about using metal. So let's make sure we have all the... Okay, good. You can see all the grime and stuff. Got another screw here. I'm just searching for the screws. Oh, got movement. Here we go. We're out. We have two cables to disconnect here. Here's a little plastic tool again. This is the keyboard. This is the track point. Here we go. Yeah. You can see right here where those rubber pieces were in the bottom that help put some pressure against the keyboard to hold it in place. You're going to get some air, spray it out. You're going to wipe. It's going to wipe this out. I'm not going to get this area wet, though. A new keyboard. Looks like the keyboard, the new one is bent. And it looks like it has a full length rubber thing. Give it some padding that has become dislodged, sticky. Great. I think that's going to flatten down right. It was in a plastic bag inside of bubble wrap inside of a tight box all right this is our third keyboard for the t460 the first two were warped and this one also doesn't have the rubber here so we're going to 
put it back together like the other keyboard where you stick a little piece of rubber down below. Some of them have the whole rubber strip that's too hard to work with. You want to remove the rubber and then when you get it back go underneath and stick like a piece of rubber or pencil eraser up in there. Okay so we got this going back in. We'll slide this one in here. All right, two rubbing cables in. I'm going to make sure that this lip here, this keyboard, goes underneath the slot. Okay, I've got it underneath the slot up front here. I'm going to push it down and get these slots to come back underneath. Oh, snap right in. Snap to this one. There we go. All right, that was easy. We're going to turn it on first, make sure it works before we put that rubber underneath. All right, it's booting. I'm going to turn on the diagnostics and check all the keys, make sure they're working. Get the keyboard test. Okay, we're going to hit no, not expected. We should get a, there we go. Let's try this. Oh, that's right, we have to hold the function key on this model. ThinkPad. I don't know if this is an official Lenovo keypad. It has a little bit. Follower, but doesn't matter. We're not going to have this forever. No menu key, function key. Yeah, everything seems to be working. It doesn't know exactly the keyboard mapping. I don't know which one it is. This is a T460. Let's see, T480. That looks a little closer, yes. Hold function and escape at locks function. Good to go. Yeah, and I got a few more screws to tighten up. I like using this little wide thing because you can get in here and push more of the keyboard cover and get to the screw and tighten it up. Yeah, and then when you're done, just come in here, pull it back. There's these little indentations you can push on too. Get the keyboard back in place. Ship it. Good to go. I have this foam. I cut a little piece. I'm just going to get it to push down in this hole. But you're supposed to give a little pressure to hold the keyboard in. I got one in over here. There we go. Put it all in there. Put the battery in. So the battery's in there to hold the rubber from coming out. Holds this keyboard in place. So it won't slide back or forth and we have repaired it I'll put a link to the keyboard we have and it's a little bit lower quality than this one here which is a ThinkPad Lenovo keyboard this is an aftermarket but 
Good enough. 